Anthony in Phoenix, Arizona asks a very basic question. And you know, I, I got to tell you something. As those of you that have subscribed to this channel have discovered, and as I have discovered, I, some of these most basic of questions really get a lot of attention because while I assume everybody knows what this is and what that is, a preamp and an amp and all of that, I've come to learn there's a lot of people who quietly just don't know and want to know. So I really appreciate these most basic of questions and feel free to ask them. Okay, Anthony writes uh, from Phoenix. He says, I'm not too familiar with the term DAC and I just use my aux and RCA cables to feed audio. Are those DACs and, and what do we consider to be a DAC? Okay, so a DAC is a digital to analog converter. And if we look at the capture and playback of music in its really only two basic forms, that is digital and analog. Okay, now this, this is an analog tape machine. This is what we used to use way back when, okay? And when I was working with Giorgio Moroder and that group in Germany back in the early 70s, all we had were analog tape recorders, analog consoles, analog everything. And we would use the RCA connector and the aux. We would record things on tape or maybe had a little cassette tape, whatever it was, that was captured in what we call analog, which is a direct copy of the actual analog signal that comes through a microphone. So I'm sure you're familiar with a recording. You speak into a microphone. It converts your audio signal, your voice, into an electrical representation of that rising and falling voltage that travel through a wire and go in and are captured on tape. And I'm happy to go through how a tape recorder works or any of that stuff if you're interested. But that's analog. And there's all and, 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 and a vinyl record, okay? That's analog, little wiggles in the in the vinyl that move a needle, and that needle as it moves has a little magnet attached to it and a coil of wire near it, and as it moves, it generates a electrical voltage, which is a representation of that analog signal. In the early 1980s, the CD player came into being, into our lives, and it didn't use analog to capture and play back. It used a computer, digital. It converted that analog signal to a digital signal ones and zeros, a digital representation of the analog voltage. And to get it from analog to a computer language, we use what's called an ADC, or an analog to digital converter. To get it out of that computer and into a form that we can hear, we use a DAC, a DAC, digital to analog converter. And I've gone over how they work and I'm happy to do that again, but that's what a DAC is. So when you have an iPhone and you record a video and there's audio on it, or you go to a concert and you hold it up and you record like that, you're recording everything digitally. And regardless of how you get it out of your iPhone into your stereo, you're going through a DAC, an ADC to get it into the iPhone. That's all built into the iPhone, sometimes built into little cables and things. And then a DAC, which is also built into your iPhone or your Android, and out again is something we can hear. So DAC, digital to analog converter, turns it from computer language to something we can hear. Okay? Thanks.